Okay. I think you can you can tell that I'm I'm really counting at this point. <laughs> you know, silent counting, you got to learn that. Okay. Otherwise, you might have guests and they might see you like 1001, 1002, 1000. Nah, <laughs> that won't be that not be good. So you have to mentally count. Okay. So, you know, just twist. Okay. Towards yourself. Very light, very gentle, very graceful. Okay. So try to get everything out, every single drop out of the guy one. You know, make sure that there's no water left. Okay. So another thing, uh, keep your, um, when you're uh, drying the, using the tea towel, drying the bottom of the ceramic, you know, just try to wipe it, you know, one straight or try to damp it down. Okay. And here's Ben Saiten looking for some cuddles. <laughs> So this is my live tea pet, Ben Saiten, the battle cat. <laughs> so here I think he, he she's uh she's wanting to play with the the crystal on the table. Um that's the angel light by the way that she's trying to um, uh reach on. Well basically cats love cuddles, so they just want attention from time to time. Of course, if you have guests, don't hold your cat and then <laughs> uh, she's being cute. Yeah. Okay, time to let it go. All right. <laughs> okay, furry little friend. Okay, going back to uh, brewing tea. <laughs> okay, so um, we just did a little rinse. So keep, you know, rinsing it uh, prevents the the staining of the tea wear. Okay. So it's already an hour and I've been using it so I rinsed it with hot water. The the tea the teacups and the filter so that it won't stain. Of course if I had guests, you never you don't have you rem always remember if you have guests, never serve them uh, using a stained teacup or stained tea wear. You know, always best foot forward, use uh, a really nice and clean, well-maintained tea set. Okay, so here I, I'm getting some notes at this point. Still getting some notes, so yeah. Okay. And since uh, that's the last part, we give it to the tea pets. Okay, we're up for a couple of more brews. Okay, brewing. So I'm on a low pour because I'm conserving temperature. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, apparently, it still it still has some heat in it, so it's okay. Okay, just meditating a bit. So if you count in a, the number of meditation every time uh, you wait for the tea to brew, and you'll find yourself meditating for almost one hour and a half. Almost an hour, to say the least. So that's a, it's, that's a really big thing, you know, to be, to clear your mind for one hour. It really, really helps. To have a clear mind. Okay. Had a little bit of trouble there. Uh -huh. Okay, sometimes the, the lid slips and your aperture or the gap between the lid and the gaiwan uh, closes up. So you need to readjust. Or sometimes it's too open. So that's one way of controlling the flow of water as well, is the aperture or the gap between the lid and the, the opening, between the lid and the guy one. So that, that would uh, uh, signify how the, how the water would go if the, the water flows freely or too soon or too late, you know, that's one of the things that you would consider. Um, trying to get a sense of the flavor. Okay, so we still have that leaf. Just putting it in. Uh, it's kind of stubborn leaf, won't go inside. <laughs> but I think we're on our last leg of our tea brewing session. You know, practicing pouring is also a skill. Because if you're not mindful and focused, so you might over pour on the teacup. And that is very rude. It's very disrespectful to over pour on one teacup. It has to be the right amount of tea inside the teacup. Uh, that's because you have to leave room for the guest or the person drink, drinking with you to be able to hold the tea. Remember, the tea is, uh, you know, very hot. So you have to be mindful of the amount of tea that you're pouring. So that's where the skill also comes in. Uh, basically, if you, uh, if, if you look at it this way... Uh, Mindfulness is the main skill in uh, brewing the tea. The awareness that it, that the practice of awareness that allows the individual to be able to focus is the main skill that you are able to acquire by performing Chinese tea rituals, ritual ceremonies.